Hi, my name is Andrew Gardner. I'm chairman of Spider Y, uh, disability sports uh, club uh, in Leeds. We run the wheelchair basketball and the wheelchair rugby league, also wheelchair uh, handball as well. Uh, I've been uh, coming uh, since 2009. Um, I, I basically, my son Josh plays uh, basketball and rugby. Uh, so basically, I came started here as a parent, like everybody else. Uh, then started volunteering, uh, and then in 2010. I uh, was handed the club and said, Andy, can you look after it? Uh, and I'm still here uh, at the moment. Uh, since the club started in 2008 with six members, we've now got roughly probably 60, 60 plus members, ranging from 10 year old up to 50. Uh, we've got people who represent the country at basketball. Uh, we've obviously got Harry, Sophie, Wayne, who ex lead Spiders, who now play for GB at the ice level and away in Spain professionally. Progression for Spiders is one day to have a zone venue uh, and to increase sport activity for people with disabilities in Leeds. My name is Josh Gardner, I'm 17 and I got involved with Leeds Spiders after I got in my wheelchair in 2005. I got involved just a couple of weeks after and I've been involved since. I think the first word I describe Leeds Spiders is probably amazing because it's just one of the things that can't be remade or replaced. It's, if it weren't for this it'd be a, bar, a boring Wednesday night, but a boring life as well. With disability sport involved, and another one, just inspirational. The amount of people that come through the door, who've been through some life-changing experiences, and they're still up for keeping it going, and they keep fighting and keep playing wheelchair basketball. It's a lifestyle for people. It is for me because I don't get no more no life. Uh, you know, they come, the friends, uh, they all get on, and they go away happy, and they're always looking forward to the next next adventure. It's just a good start-up point as well. Every, everyone knows about wheelchair basketball and that's always like the first conversation everyone asks me is, the first question is, do you play wheelchair basketball? Do you play? Who do you play for? And it's just one of the things everyone knows about it and it's great that there's a club in Leeds. I was uh, in a different part of uh, Yorkshire and uh, we were moving down where spiders were and my mum wanted me to get more involved in sport. So I decided to uh, come down to see what the Spiders are all about. Spiders as an organisation means to me a lot. It's basically what I do at weekends, how I socialise. We go all over the place and it's good. We're not a professional sports organisation. Uh, we are all parents, so we've all got a vested interest in the well-being of the club. We've always said we, it's going to be a safe and friendly environment. If it gets to a point where it's not and it's more, you know, structured like a, you know, then we won't be interested in that. I think one of my greatest memories at Spiders would be we were at Stoke Mandeville and I scored my first basket and I went mental and I went round and round the court. Some of the greatest memories of me doing this now is I've gone from a player at nine coming to a wheelchair basketball club who was just being able bodied and now being put in a wheelchair, uh, coming to see other people who are in the sport who haven't given up. And I think that's been one of the greatest things about Leeds Spiders is every, no one's given up here. That's one of the greatest memories as well, seeing, seeing younger people who, have, who were at the same age where I started coming to the club, getting the first wheelchair, seeing their faces as exactly the same as I was when I first started. And they're all inspired by what they see the older lot doing and they want to be playing for GB one day. The first year I took over, we won you know, the, the old Division 2 title uh, to get us you know, up into Division 1, so that were a bit good. Obviously, last year's juniors winning 
you know, bronze from nothing really, you know, we went there as underdogs as basically wild cards to the championships and we got third place and it was like wow. That brought us up to the top peg where people started looking at Leeds Spiders and saying, you know, this, this is a team to be reckoned with. It gives us that next step up that people can believe in us, we're not just a fly by night team, we're here for, for success for the future. I think the community with Leeds Spiders is just that close, but we all are, I suppose, like best friends. We've all been in the same position, we're all going through the same things, we've all been young and disabled and old and disabled, we're all going through that timeline together and we've all got advice for each other and we're very welcoming when someone new does come in, if we've got a new member who's only been in a chair for a few weeks or if they've only been in a chair for a long time and it's the first time they've heard about us, and we're very welcoming and we, we like to welcome them to the family as we all call it, and it's just good to get uh, people who have been in the same situations as or worse back into a happier life and play well to basketball. The relationship, I think, at Spiders is a good, strong relationship. There, there are a lot of nice people here, and you wouldn't find people like this anywhere else, really. And it's great to see, like, other people with disabilities coming together and working as a team. Well, it's, it's good with my dad, my dad being involved with the club, I think it's brilliant that my dad gets involved and is now the chairman of the club. One of the things is, it takes a bit harsher on me if I do something wrong, if I play a game bad, it, it, it's a little bit harder on me, but I'm glad he's involved and it's one of the things is, he don't treat me any differently to anyone else, it's, I'm his son. Yeah, I might be some, but it don't give me any treatment or any better than anyone else. It's just one of the things. We have us ups, we have us downs, uh, uh, which is good. Uh, we have our personal uh, bickerings, but we keep that, you know, usually on the in the van on the way home. I, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. That's what it says, you know. Uh, you know, people don't even know I've got a daughter because they never see her. <laughs> uh, you know, and a grandson. Uh, but. Yeah, I do a thing for Josh. He's, you know, he's not got the, you know, the same choices in life as I had at his age. Uh, you know, I went out into the big world at 17 and, you know, started a career for myself. It's going to be hard for Josh. Uh, you know, not just because of his disabilities, uh, but you know, it's, it's hard for every kid this day and age. So, you know, I'll do my best to get him as far as I can. My philosophy is keep going, keep going until you know you can't go anymore. You know we have good times and bad times. Sometimes you feel like you know can I go fishing? Can I have another hobby? Uh, you know we've always said we want to be the best. You know off the court we probably are the best. You know I get feedback from a lot of players from you know some old clubs who've been around for years and say, gosh I wish I set up like yours. Uh, so we've got the bases now, we've got that right, we're getting funding streams right. Uh, a couple more volunteers, won't, won't go miss. More court time, or his own venue, wouldn't go miss because we, we've got sports that want to mature, you know, like the handball, you know, we just play it at the moment, but just people want to play it, lacrosse, you know, there's the ice hockey, the sledge hockey, there's, you know, there's all different sports out there, American football, people's angling about, you know, Australian rules. So, you know, once you've got space, you've got chairs, why can't you? Uh, you know, and have five nights a week, disability yeah. sports. I think with my future with this, I think now I'm hopefully going up towards uni next year. I think it's going to help a lot just for me being able to come here and keep going with my friends and keep playing wheelchair basketball. I'm also going to be looking to go further 
and keep going with my coaching badges and hopefully get my level 2 coaching badge by the end of next year and start on more coaching pathways with the club. I've gone from a player to a coach and now I'm the England North assistant coach so I think it can only go up and with the help of the club I think it will. I, I hope uh, Spiders will become uh, a bigger, better uh, organisation. At the minute they're doing uh, various other sports but I would like that to go further out and be better and get more people involved in wheelchair basketball. I can't see it going up. Spiders ain't going to go anywhere else but up, I don't think now. I think we're just going to keep going and going and going. More people are coming each week. We're getting bigger, we're getting better. So, all going up. At the moment, I'm, I'm here while I can, doing my job as good as I can. Uh, you know, if some, somebody walks up the door tomorrow and says, I want to take over and then I've got two million pound, I'd gladly staff aside if they've got that kind of money. I just do it for the love. I'm a volunteer like everybody else. You know, I do it for the kids, you know, to see their faces. I suppose I do it just to, you know, as in, it's in my hobby. I enjoy it, you know. Uh, I'm a workaholic at heart, so, you know, I'll never stop.